Hey y'all, I am James Wright and welcome to the MWTCA National Meet. And uh, we are going to have a lot of fun here. If you are looking for a meet like this near you, go to handtoolfinder.com. There's a link down in the description. Uh, it is a, a listing of all the places I know of around the world that do this. Um, so today we're going to be walking around and showing everything that's in the tailgate. So hopefully we have a good image. Um, my cell connection isn't great out here, but um, we'll see what we can get. So um, let's see if I can fix that just a little bit. Ooh, yeah, let me see if I can switch over. Oh, I can. Hey, there okay. you um, So let's see if that improves it when I uh, actually get going. Uh, so if anyone has any questions, throw those in the chat, and I will try and get to as many of those as I can. Um, and let's let's do the walk around here. So, yeah, um, so this is the, the tailgate sale, uh, part of the, the convention. This is kind of what kicks it all off. Um, yesterday, there's the welcome dinner. Um, and this is where I find a lot of my tools. You find a lot of user quality stuff. Um, please save us. <laughs> I like these. These are the buckets I love to dig through because uh, you've got bits and parts and other things, cranks, junk. the junk and the parts planes and things that need to be repaired and restored. I love digging through those. You want to take the whole thing? <laughs> It'd be nice to get rid of some weight. Let's see what we got over here. There's like a lot of sellers here today. Um, so it's a kind of well, these are fun old Yankee bits. Um, I've got a video coming up. I want to actually make one of these. Some brass plum bobs. There's a good old jointer. Look at that wear out where the, the strike pattern. He's hit that over the years and worn it down in. Oh, check out the, the hand restoration on that. That is cool. Man, there's a lot of history in that. The refills. Wow, that's, uh, that's kind of cool. Old hag's tooth. Oh, this clamp here. This is, this is fascinating. Because it's got the, the rack and pinion, and then it has this mouth that can pivot to put an angle on it. Um, that's just a really interesting clamp. Some uh, big saws on here. Yeah, how's the image quality? If people can tell me, I want to make sure that the connections are what they should be. Um, looks to be good strength, but I, I can never quite tell. So we've got some Cooper's tools. What is this? Oh, that's a beautiful rabbit plane. Look at the grain on that. Some scraper planes, more brass work. Now these are always fun because the uh, the old wooden braces, the maker would have um, gotten their own bits and made the, the tapered square that fits into your particular one. So the blacksmith could make the bit and then you'd make the, the chuck that went into it. But these are actually hollow augers. Greetings from Lake Ontario. Good to have you. Oh, there's a beautiful axe head. Look at that. Huh. I gotta speed up because we got a lot of things to go through there. Oh wow, look at that brace. <laughs> Put the spinning head on that. That is cool. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna find. Let's come on over here. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, here's a uh, a uh, a miter. So plane would sit on the track here. And then you put your wood in the, the sled here and slide it along. That's, so this all right, so this stays put. And you put your wood in here just like you would for uh, uh, what's the word I'm for? Shooting board, yeah. With the double iron, oh I didn't see that. Huh. That is pretty. Yeah. Really? Huh. Oh, then they got the um, Cooper's plane here. And so you normally see the iron here, but this one also has iron down here on the side. 
That's a stave joiner like here. That's a head joiner for yeah, barrel head. Like huh. That one's straight and this one's curved. Yeah, oh, I see a rat. Oh, okay. Hair, you know. Yeah, Greetings from Albania. Like Good. <laughs> oh, here. So this would have the square on the edge, and then it also has the all in here and the uh, the levels, and it's all in one. Let's see what we got. Some beautiful axes and goings. More planes and hammers, mallets. Oh, here we have a. Uh, this is a. Uh, what's one for? Um, Bosses, what's the uh, chopper? So there's a there was a name they used to call it, but you put your produce in here, and this blade would go up and down and rotate on it. Greetings from Italy, Italy, Albania, we're all over the place. Ooh, oh yeah, I didn't see these earlier. So these are soles that you can put onto a Stanley 45 to turn it into a hollow or round. And uh, oftentimes a set of those cost more than the 45. Just a single set, not the whole set. <laughs> Here's some more uh, tenoners, hollow augers. Or, or you see them. Bits uh, and pieces. Those guys that, here, let's come on over here. No one's saying anything about the image, so it must be good. Let's see what we got down here. Some wooden planes. Cooper's Plains, some nice chisels. Hello from West Virginia and the UK. Yeah, these are uh, for the, the tops, um, barrels for running around the rim. I want to do some Cooper working here soon. I've got a bunch of tools and just haven't had the chance to dive into it yet. Let's see what we got over here. Some mallets, folding uh, draw knives. Do you know some places that sell hand tools in Italy? I don't know of much in Italy at all. Um, if you go to handtoolfinder.com, I have a link in the description. Um, I, there's a map of every place I know of, but I don't remember if there's much in Italy. If you find something, let me know. Hello from Norway. Cool. Yeah, we'll be doing uh, this today and tomorrow. I'm going to be doing one uh, where we walk to, walk through inside, because uh, outside today is all of the, uh, the the tailgate, and then inside tomorrow is the um, the inside sale. So you tend to get a little bit nicer, a little more collectible things on the the inside sale. Um, so I'm still. Oh, someone bought it. There was another one here, the the smaller one. I've got it. Uh, but I'm looking for the really small one. I've seen pictures of it, but I've never seen one in person. And I don't see it in the catalog, so I'm wondering if it even exists or if it was modified or what. But, uh, yeah, Stanley Squares. <laughs> Let's see, we did that. Uh, we got to go over here. So we haven't even really gotten much into this. There is a lot here. Sales all around. Arizona, how's it going? How's it going? It's a uh, core box plane for making cores. Um, you can actually get these with wings that come out to make it bigger. I'm going to do a video on those sometime. It'd be kind of fun. Yeah, it was talking about the uh, 45 hollows and rounds. Wow. You got a pile of them. Yeah, you, you got a tape steady on them there. So ah. Got the different uh, variations. So those are extras. And... <laughs> so. Let's come. Let's go over here and do this one first. So I'm trying to figure out what's the best order through all of these. And I think I'm going to start. Yeah, let's just start here. So here's some machinist tools. Um, do you have anything in the drawers? No, this one's just the box. Sometimes they'll have drawers with things for sale. Here's a really cool vise. Yeah, he is selling stuff to move. He's got a lot of things on here. Keeps marking them down. Forty dollars, twenty dollars, twenty dollars, two dollars, two dollars, five dollars. 
Now these are all rosewood planes, um, so with bodies of rosewood. And honestly, he had a really good price on those. 50, 60, 50, 50, 50. This is a beautiful joiner. Look at this thing with the, the carving in it. 50 bucks on that. It's a good price. Yes, indeed. You're wanting to get rid of things. Huh? <laughs> You're wanting to get rid of things. I am getting rid of everything. When I leave, I don't take anything home. Why? It won't be long. Yeah. 30 bucks, 40 bucks, $5. So I got a little bit. I got to get more. $20 each. Here, what's he saying? 25% off. Um, 20, yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay, there's the stone over here I keep eyeing. I don't know. I brought the van so I could take it home, but uh, we'll see. I have to keep thinking about it. Hopefully my wife isn't watching the live. <laughs> so here's a post drill. Sands to post. But uh, even has the table. And uh, it's in good condition. That's usually worth just as much, if not more, than the whole rest of the thing because they break or they're missing. What's he asking on that? 75 bucks. There's another one over there. I'll move around. Yeah, I'll get okay. another one. Um, well, be axes. Honest, oh, yeah, here you we go. Crosscut saws and ice saws. It's 30s, but, yeah. you know, the handle's on backwards. And Here's another on post drill. That one's in yeah. well, it's in yeah. nice shape. Got the bed and all. Ah! There we go. Sorry. <laughs> Green Bay, Wisconsin. That yeah, our last national was there. Ah. Got to uh, turn. So we got a lot of books. It's one of the things I love about coming to the meets is learning things. Picking things up off the table and asking you, what is this? Or finding old resources and books and documents. Um, I, I usually come home with several books of things that I'm looking for. Oh, these planes here are cool. So, 1791. But check out the, the iron shape on that. And then we've got... 1797. 1797. Here's a Christian crossing. Oh, yeah. Those are beautiful. Nice chip carving. Yeah. Those are big these brass ones. <laughs> <laughs> that shipwright hammer used to be a lot bigger. <laughs> it's been used a few times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the handle here about yay long. And the handle and this round one. Well, that's, that's interesting dividers with the uh, yeah. been bent over. Bent wood one. That's nifty. Ooh. Oh, with the uh, ivory. Inlays, yeah. That's pretty. Got some ebony in. That's beautiful, huh? That's really pretty. Bucket of Travelers. Yep. Oh, you got rid of a bunch of these. Yeah, I just sold He wanted all of them, but for all the money, he may be back. <laughs> I wanted him to buy them all, but keep them as a set. At some point, someone said, you know, one I have just isn't big enough. I need a bigger one. Exactly. That's the biggest set I've ever, ever seen. That's, that's huge. I've seen very few of them. Yeah, so this is basically a, a, taper, a tapered auger bit. You have the yep. blade on here. Yeah, and they, and they and would uh, do the internal part of a log, and that's the first water distribution oh, to system make the pipe. in the early, early villages. All early villages had wooden water pipes. They're still digging them up occasionally here and yeah. there. And it's still in operation. Huh, that's nifty. That's late 1700s, early 1800s for the early cities all over America. Nifty. Thank you. New York. They're rare. Let's see, we got the next one over here. 
There are a lot of router planes here today. So everyone's always asking me. These are already sold. Oh, they're sold? Oh. Yeah. I'm just holding them. Hey, hey. He looks at mine. <laughs> now, it, uh, there were quite a few going for around 60, 65 earlier. Bunch of braces. Oh, I love that. That's pretty. Um, let's see. Sometimes, sometimes I'm happy not close to any MWTC. Yeah, <laughs> it's a good way to lose some money. <laughs> kind of like gambling, except for you get to go home with something. <laughs> I don't know why, but I find these parallel to be just fascinating. I love playing with these. Um, I should get one to put on my uh, desk as a fidget. <laughs> Braces, hammers, mallets, a couple split face. That one's got leather in it. Not as many saws out today, but there's quite a few. Nice collection to come dig through. Knives, sharpening. What are these? For putting watch crystals in. Ah, watch Those crystals. Watches, pocket watches. Uh, that like makes that. more sense. They're going to be pressed in sometime. Miter saw, 45. Oil cans. Saws without uh, handles. Come on, turn already. There we go. So, one dollar each. <laughs> Let's see what we got over here. That's a really nice big rip saw. Thirty-five bucks. And a thumb hole. That's not a bad price. Get a nice Slick like 50 out floorings. The door open. Yeah, flooring saws are fun. You can use the the curved teeth to actually cut right into the middle of the floor run, starting on an edge. I want to do a video on those sometime. I've got one to to play with. Oh, check out the green edge on that one. That's cool. Now these are uh, Babbitt scrapers. Down, down, down. Babbitt scrapers. So uh, Babbitt bearings are basically made out of lead, and you'd use these to scrape and shape the Babbitt to uh, to fit what you need it to. Okay, here's more of those. Ooh, here's a uh, four and a half, a good user back there. I mean, a decent collection of planes. Here's a 605 for 75 bucks. I'm looking for a 604. Some more parts. There's a there's Bailey. Forty-five. There's a forty-five with the box and cutters for 150 bucks. Here's one with the the original box. No, oh, even has the manual. Is that the screwdriver? Yeah, it is a screwdriver. That one's 225. That one's. Is this is a toothing plane. Yep, toothing plane, so that the blade has this serrated edge. Let's see if I can get a shot of it. I don't think I can. It runs vertical. I've got a video on one of those. Got a couple of views on it, actually. Anyone want to buy some Hanley? Honey? Stanley's, four fives. Some bedrocks. There's some parts. I'm trying to find the nose screw for a dowel maker. Um, I haven't been able to find it. Here's a four and a half. What's he asking on that one? Eighty-five bucks for a Stanley four and a half. Compass plane. Um, okay, so let's see. How do I want to do this? Because um, we're we're about a quarter of the way through, and I think. I'm going to go down this one, come back that one. Okay, yeah, because there's, there's just tables everywhere. So if I'm missing something, you want me to go back and take a look at something, let me know. Um, Curdy, 
That was an odd. Oh, yes. Where is this? We are in Des Moines, Iowa. This is the National MWTCA conference. And uh, tailgate sale is one of my favorites. So you never know what you're going to find. But if you see something you want me to go back and look and take a look at or find a price on, let me know. Oh, these are fun. These are uh, molds for uh, um, army men. They're World War II um, English army men molds. These are kind of fun. So you can put them together and pour your mold and lead in. <laughs> what do we got down here? Well, there's a cool uh, vice handbill. <laughs> Now some of these I just like coming through. And, oh wow, we want to throw a wrench. The uh, train wrenches are huge. Um, what is the most expensive tool after the Stanley shooting board plane? Uh, well, individually, um, yeah, I don't know. The, the, they're all over the place, and there's there's odd little things that make one collectible over another. That, uh, it has this particular stamping or marking on it, and there's a collector that's looking for that particular thing. Um, I, I think that the most expensive thing is a one, a Stanley number one in the box. Um, though the the shooting board planes have really been coming up, especially on eBay. The prices on those have gone bonkers. You can still get them a little bit more affordable here, but uh, uh, the the price on the the shooting board plane and, and shooting board are <laughs> Crazy. Now here's a cool saw vise. Wooden made. Clamps. Vices. Oh, here's a compass plane for you. Boat bottom plane. This bucket is on the level. It's truthful with you. <laughs> Screwdrivers, wrenches. Eight dollars, five dollars, eight dollars. There's a guy over there who's got the exact set. He wants one hundred and fifteen dollars for him, and I'll take fifteen for the same set. <laughs> yeah, this is an odd. Um, they're, they're, they're hard to find those. Those, uh, have, those Stanleys. But there's a like an odd. Uh, what's what I'm looking for? The um, almost cult following for them. Yeah. I don't know why they're not amazing chisels. No. no. <laughs> and uh, but. I'm amazing. Once he's got, he's got a great, he's got just the set right here. Uh, he wants one hundred and fifteen dollars. Look at all those block planes. Yeah, I'm looking for an expert on block planes because I got one here that's very rare. Or at least I think Ooh. I can't find any research on it or anything. It's a uh, sergeant. Huh? Oh, you must have sold that other sergeant. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, check out all the I Liberty sold, Bells. Yeah, so, Liberty Bell Transitionals. They also made a Liberty Bell uh, metal body. But I was say, is that everything there? Everything except the metal ones. Which except I the metal ones. Yeah. I had the metal ones too. But I <laughs> yeah, we were talking about the uh, the 45 with the uh, the hollow and round beds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll make you a deal. <laughs> Then there's the auxiliary group, and they have uh, uh, different things they have. So there's a whole auxiliary um, schedule of events going on for uh, women who are interested in the tools, aren't interested in the tools. Now here's another dig and dive box for parts and pieces and user items. Anyone looking for auger bits? A couple nice reamers. There's a uh, Bedrock 607. Oh, look at that little coffin. Any? No, I don't see 604s. Oh, well, 604 up there. The uh, the older style.
I got in on the very end of that. Did, did you? But yeah. Like your pieces? Uh, Some squares, man. Wrenches. Oh, here's a fun there. one. The uh, was it the, the 97? What they was uh, chisel plane. Passing 12 on that cutter knowledge. scraper. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Stanley 64. Oh, these are fun with the uh, the, the tilt knob. That, uh, yeah, you can't spell expensive enough ways. Oh, here we got the bedrock set. So we have the, uh, the, uh, the 602 all the way up through the, uh, the 608. <laughs> Don't get to see all those in one place off very often. Here's a cool kid's toy up here. Let's uh, yeah, let's swing over to this side. Turn, turn, turn. Come on, turn. There you go. Now you're turning. So we have some uh, glue pots. Is that a shipwright hammer that's gotten smaller? It's a caulking mallet. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's normally like a lot longer. Oh, well, they're bigger. Face. It's usually bigger around, but that's for huh. some specialty work. <laughs> There's a pile of wooden spokes. Yeah, small ships. I like that. <laughs> wooden spoke shapes. 45, 20, 50, 45. I don't think I go cheaper than that. <laughs> There's a uh, tap and die. Looking for some specialty wrench that came with an old car or something of that nature. A lot of the, the old uh, cars actually came with their toolbox for maintenance. Axes and mallets. Tobacco knife. No oh, this is a really cool saw. Check out those big, those are cross cut filed. Huh. Here's a uh, number eight. Uh, I don't know what company it is. John Chanter? I don't know that one. Got a few more planes up here. Wrenches and such. Yeah, if someone wants me to go back and take a look at something or want me to stop. Oh, here's a uh, 604. So you're asking 145. It's, yeah, I don't want that. It's close to what I want, but not quite. Uh, here, let's do these two and then hop over to that one. Got some braces down here. beefy sledge. <laughs> it's, it's always interesting because people will point out things that I completely missed because my eyes catch one thing or another that um, someone else wasn't. Let's see what we got over here. Some plum bobs. Lots of people like to collect plum, plum bobs. Wrenches of all kinds. What is that? That's a, a press for something. I don't know what. Interested. Do you find you set your set of 40? No, I haven't found a set of 46 irons yet. Um, I haven't asked around yet. I haven't seen a set out for it, but uh, I have to come back and they're kind of one of those things you can ask for. I was told it was to kind of like leather to like shoe parts. Okay. Makes sense. It's a leather punch. Say the tongue of the shoe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here's a set of cutters over here. Now here's a uh, ooh a fifty uh, a fifty five set of cutters body the rails in there. I believe the rails are missing. That's the only thing. Oh, there you are. Two twenty five. That's for all the cutters. Come on over this way. Oh, these are fun. So you've got a, uh, uh, a sharpening, so you have all three stones in there. You can rotate it and keep them moist. Moist. <laughs> now here's some Luthier's clamps. 
What's he asking? 45 for the set. And so I just made one of these this week, and I've been playing with um, using them with these little toggles in here. Those are really nice ones. I like that. So I'm going to be I'm thinking about doing a live video actually showing those being made. Yes? Is this the square you've been looking for? On YouTube? You know, I say I'm looking for a three inch. <laughs> so it's like. No, I got that one. Oh. Yeah. Now they make. Uh, well, I don't. I don't know if it's made. I've seen a picture of it. And it looks like the body is smaller, and so it would have been original. But I mean, it may have been someone with a four inch that cut it down to three inch. Because I don't see it in the catalog. But I've seen two pictures of them. Okay. So which square is it, though? Which number? Is it? Um, I don't remember what the number is, but it's the. Because um, I've never seen it in the catalog, but it's the. Um, their their standard, um, tri square. Um, with the, the three rivets. Okay. What is, um, is it a the blade? Iron, what, okay, what's the, the handle of the blade? Is what, it nickel plated? Um, yeah, they're nickel plated. Okay. Yeah. But is the blade just three inches or? Is yeah, it, it's three inches out from the body. Like this would be a four inch one then, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, no, well, no that'd be adjustable. Slab, yeah, it's, it's the same it. size, but this one's adjustable. Yeah. Okay. Now that you've interrupted his web thing. <laughs> now you got me thinking. Regular, yeah, yeah. Our regular programming. Yeah, box. back to the tools. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so we got uh, six. What is this? It's a defiance. Defiance. Okay, well, I should have seen with the, the side here. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, depth adjuster knob. That's pretty. Corn husking pigs. <laughs> okay, there are a bunch of 45s here. What's he asking on this one? 85 bucks. That's a little on the high side for that one. Let's ask for that. 45 bucks. That's yeah, about what I was expecting. Chuck's. Cooper's Maker. Um, oh, um, Scratch. There's a word. <laughs> some block planes, some steels for sharpening, burnishing. Here we've got uh, saws. Um, I like to collect plumb bobs. I had a guy in Springfield give me a discount because I made a joke about being named Bob. <laughs> Or maybe it's everyone. I don't know. Let's see. I missed. Oh, I skipped the table over here. I said I do both sides on this one to get all around. So I'll come back over here. Um, oh, here's a cool uh, toolbox. That's a good pile of saws in a toolbox. What do we get back over here? Some 45s. This is. You can put these with the uh, leather belt to run them. A ton of new plane. A bunch of. Come on. Where are you going? Down. There we go. Cabinet scrapers. Scraper planes. Nice toolbox, yes. <laughs> it's coming back over here. So we've got another 64. Price on those has gone up. Here's a couple 45s. Some hardware for clamps. 45 fences. Some punches. Some good user planes. I'm asking 20, 45. Is that a 604? fifty. Yeah. See, that's the one I'm looking for. I might come back and get that one from you. Here's a, uh, a four and a half, an X, four and a half. So Union X plane, a lot of people really love those. But a four and a half, you don't come across those very often.
let's see, twenty dollars for the faithful. Yeah, I kind of like faithful. It's a it's a good user brand that a lot of people like to overlook, but it, it functions great. If you're looking for a user, it's a it's a good one for you. Router plane, some block planes. There's a uh, miter box saw. Right here, oh, here's a uh, swing arm seat. Do you have the the mount for that? No, just the. Some uh, number five size. Brace yourself for this. <laughs> here's some more. Oh, here's a uh, 55 in the box. Cutters. Oh, even has the screwdriver. 500 bucks. That's about going price for it. Here's some 45s. What's he asking? 65 on that. Yeah. Those prices are a little on the high side of what I'd be wanting, but not horrible. Some power tools. Are those hand tools? There's a good way to start an argument. <laughs> Here's some cool saws. We've got more planes over here. Transitionals. Uh, let's come on back over to this side. Let's see. Some more levelers, yanker bit, Yankee bits, block planes, scrapers, wrenches, lots of wrenches, alligator wrenches. Oh, thank you. Here's a plow plane. Set of irons. It's nice that most of the irons are interchangeable between the old wooden uh, plow planes. They're uh, kind of fun. Some molding planes, wrenches. Oh, this is interesting here. The uh, auger on this. The, the heads on these look like that. And they actually slide into the T-handle. And this key comes in and locks them in so that the auger bit can't come out. It creates a wedge up top that locks it into place. It's kind of fascinating. Let's see. More wrenches and marking gauges. That's a cute little marking gauge. <laughs> little screw though. <laughs> Let's come over. Let's do, uh, let me take a look at this. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to come back to that one. Let's come over here first. So, what do we got here? King cutter, another machinist box, some wrenches. Here's a uh, number 46, again, without the cutter. I don't need the cutters for mine. I bought a number two this morning. Um, I bought it for 125 bucks, which I think is a pretty darn good deal. It was a really nice, uh, it had a, a chip out of the nose, but wasn't hurt it functionally. So I'll be getting that one up on my, uh, my shelf here soon. Here's a 45 for 45. It's close to the tongue cutter. Yeah, we're right by the airport, so you can see the air, hear the airplanes going over. A bunch of block planes. Chisels. Yeah, I ran into a thing. I don't have a good long pairing chisel, and I need to get one of those. I ran into a, uh, a thing the other day where I didn't want to end up using a file rather than a chisel. Do you tend to see letter number punches? Yeah, we've uh, come across a couple of them. Here's, ooh, okay, here, here's a 45. Um, box, all the parts. Even the screwdriver, those are often hard to come by. I'm going to say 220, 185. Squares, braces, more planes, any 604s? No, not right now. Here's a AMT rabbit plane, some more levels. Screwdrivers, some perfect handles back in there. Let's come over this way. Um, 
Oh yeah, you're asking for for punches. Well, check out this one. So this one you've got down this rotary drum, and it sets what letter is it on, and then it punches it. Yeah, it's heavy too. Yeah, bet it's heavy. <laughs> oh, oh, it's not. The, it's a it's a paper punch. Oh, I see. Because that's what that's what this is. Ah, so you have the the, the die in there. Um, that the, the paper then punches out those letters. That's kind of cool. Huh. We got a beam drill. Oh, this is an um, egg crate folder. So this comes down to bend the, the shape for the, 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 uh, the folded egg crates. Uh, I recommend you wear gloves with that. And here's a nice ECE joiner. That was pretty. I love all of the uh, tongue grooving on that. I did a, a plane doing that a while ago, and I want to do another one here sometime. Here's another four, a five and a quarter. There's a five box cutters, 479. There's a nice old number four. Uh, Stanley four and a half. Pre-lateral. Oh my. Yeah, so this is one of the things that make items very collectible. Is this was made before there was a lateral adjuster. Um, so yeah, those are even harder to find. And what do we have here? Is that one? Nice number two. A little older. Nice little router plane. And uh, we've got more of the uh, hollows and rounds for the 45s. Wish we had these in Scotland. Yeah, it would be nice to have them up there. You should start one. If we could work it in, I might come over and uh, do some publicity for it. Uh, usually, most of the time, the reason that these start is someone was in the area and was like, you know, I want one of these near me. And so they start a, a tool event. And they don't always start big. They start small, and after years of doing it, they get bigger and bigger. Ooh, 1880. This is a, uh, a Cooper's plane. So you'd have the, the legs on this end, and so it's actually upside down right now. There's another 45 and 55. That's a massive brace with a copper sleeve to rotate. Huh. That's cool. That's all beefy. Uh, someone needed a draw knife and they had an old worn out file. Turn the file into the draw knife. You can make a lot of things out of an old file. <laughs> when you want to hit them with love. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Is that a, a cheese shredder or? That's kind of interesting. <laughs> What is that for? <laughs> That's one of the things I love is finding some of these things. Be like, what? What? What, what is that? <laughs> yeah. Speaking of uh, remade file tools, rolling pins. Is that a drill bit? File? No. What is that? It would roll on that. I don't know what that is. Fascinating, though. Some powder horns. Is that a dead eye? Yeah, that's a dead eye. Or something similar. Saws. I want to do a video on the stair saw sometime. I've got one of those to want to show out. Haven't done that yet. More transitionals. <laughs> I might have asked a little much for it, but it doesn't need anything, so I'll keep it. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Talking oh, about wow. Yeah. Look at that brace. Holy cow. Someone's trying to compensate for something. A jeweler's brace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a jeweler's brace? No, I'm just teasing you. <laughs> I was going to say, what? Goes, what story were you giving? It goes giving? my little level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Little level. 
<laughs> oh, here's a, uh, a saw filer. So you've got the file here that runs in and out. You put your saw blade in. Um, and so as it turns and rotates, uh, it actually will progress the saw blade along and then also run the file to then uh, file it out. That's kind of cool. You got a tripod for a surveyor. Oh, here's a scroll saw. Um, can you do a video on swan neck mortise chisels? Uh, they are for um, um, paring out at the bottom. I don't actually have one. Maybe I should grab one and, and do a, a video on it. Um, let's come back and I'll get that one. Yeah, I can do that. Cool. Trying to figure out my plan. So we're probably about two thirds of the way through the sale. So if anyone sees something you want me to go back to and let me know. Hickory Elastic. Nice display case. <laughs> a lot of compass planes. Asking 75 bucks for that one. Alligator wrenches. I love that little one. That's, that's kind of nice. Braces. And this, that. This is a Yankee driver. Um, what is a dead eye? A dead eye is um, a block used to tighten up rigging on a ship or other things you might be rigging. You'd have ropes that go through it down to the bottom and then ropes that go through it the other direction and up to the top and it allows you to tighten back and forth basically like a a block and tackle but without the uh the block without the tackle and without the uh the the, the wheel yeah they just replaced all of the windows above the pool so they've got these massive windows down here let's see what has he got back in here oh yeah Yeah, he went looking for a railroad wrench. <laughs> this is some big wrenches. Some braces. Big cross cut saw. Turning tools. Files. Oh, for the more lightweight model, we have. <laughs> for for your uh, um, hobby trains. Yeah. <laughs> um, egg beater drill press. Did I miss it? I must have missed it back there. I'll be going back by and I'll take I'll take a moment and look at it. Howdy. Good day. Yeah. Now there's actually a character in. Uh, the Gilbert and Sullivan play, Gilbert, not Gilbert and Sullivan, Gilbert's? No, um, Pirates of Penzance. That's Gilbert and Sullivan. Is it Gilbert? Yeah, it's Gilbert and Sullivan. Um, Pirates of Penzance have uh, um, Dick Deadeye, <laughs> the, bad, the bad guy in it. No, no, Pinafore, not Pirates of Penzance, Pinafore. That's a blade. What, what do they do related to tools? Uh, the the um, Dick Deadeye is the bad guy, and so I was looking at a Deadeye of it. It's a, I mean, the, the live question is, what's a Deadeye? All right, I have a question <laughs> for you when you're not recording. Okay, It'll be about another 20 minutes or so. All right. See what we got down here. Dig and dive box. Good transitionals. A couple Yankees. Oh, this is a uh, this is a nail puller. And so you can lock it on there and then use the mass of the, uh, the sliding handle to pull the nail out. You should do a video on that. Yeah, yeah, get your finger in there. <laughs> Let's see. Is this your stuff? Yep. You like hiding over here, don't you? There's a nice leg vise. There's a quick release bench vise. And, uh, Tape measures, marking knives, auger bits. Dead eye dick, yes. <laughs> auger bits, and I love dig and dive boxes, but then there's 
this thing over here. Check out that frame saw. Someone made it out of a um, bandsaw blade, but I like the way they did it. They took a, a bolt and cut a slot in the bolt and then ran a bolt through the bolt and through the, the saw blade. So there's a nut on the other side there. But the other end, you can see a little bit clearer how they took the bolt, cut it out, and then run it up through. So you got to be careful of making sure the blade isn't twisted. So it's a pretty simple way of making one. I might have to do a video on making something like that. That's kind of a, a cool design. Someone had fun with that. Let's see what we got over here. Oh yeah, someone wanted me to go back and take a look at the uh, the mini drill press. Did I miss it? Uh, I don't see it. Sorry. Oh yeah, here it is. Look at that little thing. <laughs> that is cute. That is a nice little drill press. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, just now setting up? Yes. Waiting for the dew to finally clear. Well, I've been, yeah, well, not so much. I've been out shopping. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah spending now, money. Now you got to pay for it. <laughs> yeah, you got that right. 45, yeah, there's some people who are out here at, uh, like, uh, uh, I think some of the first were coming out around 5 or 6 a.m. Most people didn't come out until about 7 o'clock. Uh, but usually it's right around the time sunrise comes. Let's see, what do we got in here? He had, ah, oh, he sold them. There, you got one left. So here's a uh, Stanley router plane. He's asking 65. He had several of them that were around 60 bucks this morning. There were a lot of router planes here this morning. So here's a Stanley number four for 35 bucks. There's a nice number four for 35 bucks. Those are really good condition. Just sharpen those up, clean them, put them back to use. 45, uh, 35 bucks. That's not a bad deal at all for that condition. There's a rope maker, Stanley 81 cabinet scraper. This, this is my favorite um, um, bevel gauge of all times. With the the T-handled nut back here for adjusting it. It's got a good weight to it. And you can pick these up rather reasonably, 10 bucks. That, that's my favorite one that's ever been made. I, I love it. Simple, easy, efficient, works well. Set of auger bits for 75. Another set, 75. We have uh, a Craftsman 45. No, it's a Stanley 45 for 275. There's Stanley. Delta blades. There's an older 45. The uh, the older 45 has the knob out on the main body, whereas the newer one puts it over onto the the skate rather than the main body of it. But uh, 75. But it comes with the whole, the, the cutters as well. Uh, <laughs> I'll be showing this table in a little more de detail tomorrow when he takes inside. He's got lots of interesting things on here. Just interesting tools like uh, this makes, this is a ice cream scoop, but it makes rectangular pieces uh, for ice cream sandwiches. Um, or this is a cutter for um, a cork cutters. So this is actually the sharpener for them. Um, odd tools that just have one use. Um, or like this one. With the, this one is right-handed, or you can switch it over and have it left-handed. <laughs> um, oh, okay. Okay. This, yeah, this is this one's a good one back in here. So we've still got all of this to go through over here. Um, and then there's some good stuff back in here. <laughs> Saving the best for. No, not quite last. <laughs> so uh, here's some folding rules. And $5, $8, Told you I'd be coming back through. <laughs> For those of you who want tapes, here you go. 
No, I'm just showing the tables. Five dollars. Eight dollars. Twelve dollars. Well, okay. So it was really fun. Don't get me wrong. Both of them side by side. Smith and Megan and Ed. Sorry. We danced the vine later. Yep. I'll be done in about 15 minutes or so. We've got some uh, punches back in here. Um, can hear the southern accent coming out. Sorry, yeah. I've got a, yeah, no, I spent a while down south. And my, my mom has a southern accent. She gets tired. Here's a fun one. This is the uh, this is the actual shipwrights uh, caulking mallet. Oh yeah, for when you really want to whale on something and bash it down, we've got a glass hammer for you. You need to put a lot of force into something. <laughs> you got uh, and planes. And a couple bedrocks up in here. Stanley chisels in the box. There's an infill over there. And I go in the soap. Lee Nielsen. Somebody didn't know. They put Black Raven hats. There's uh, some plow planes they back in there. If I slide behind you, there's some uh, blacksmith bracers. And we got back saws. And, oh, here's a Union X. No, that's not a Union X. It's a Union uh, 5, so not an X. And four and a half. Bunch of sevens. A couple eights. Here's a uh, 45 in the box. Got the screwdriver. Let's see a price. Oop. Didn't mean to do that. That's not locked in. <laughs> See cool braces, shoulders. Oh, look at these plow planes. <laughs> it's a bedrock six oh seven, six oh six. Uh, here, let me come down to this table here. So, if you're looking for a tool. Um, there's tools here. There are definitely tools here. So, those of you looking for router planes, but, uh, 78, 80, 65. Here's some number threes. Five and a quarter. Fours. There's number three. Excuse me, those aren't threes. Those are twos, not threes. Another five and a quarter. Six oh sixes. Ooh, six oh eight. Cabinet scrapers. Shoulder plane, not shoulder, uh, block planes. Nice little infill. Spoke shoes. Ooh, look at the figure on that. That's pretty. Here's a big Cooper's spoke shave. Couple of compass planes, I didn't see those. Um, how much was the whole set of hollows and rounds? Um, I, yeah, <laughs> the lots. <laughs> I, I don't, I didn't look at the price on that. It's one of those things if you, if you have to ask, you, 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 you can't afford. <laughs> A full set of those is, is expensive. Draw knives, slicks. Big chisels. Let's see, asking uh, 68 bucks for a set of those. There's another Irwin set in the box. 58 bucks for that set. That's a nice set. Pencil sharpener. There's a uh, Gramercy saw vise. Tuned in from Las Vegas. Good to have you. Bunch of braces. I love my short throw brace. Those, I use mine all the time. Let's see, what do we got over here? Some egg beaters. Here's a nice um, egg beater press. Some 
levels and tapes and dividers and layout tools. And this is kind of fun. I'm thinking it's a candy cutter, so it's flat on this side. So you can slide it along the cold stone, pick up the candy, and then let it drop to cut it. That's a, Uh, here we got some beam drills. Those are pretty. Nice and cleaned up. What's he asking? Six, uh, six seventy on that one. But this one is in beautiful shape. And these are, these ones are hard to come by. There, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see what we got over here. Marking gauges and spoke shaves and a bucket. I want to come back and dig through this. This is beautiful. That's a cool folding rule. <laughs> Bench dog. Chisels, knives, squares, carving tools. Here's a uh, five and a quarter. And we got a... Yeah. Got uh, here's a four and a half. Oh, Ohio tools. Let's see. Looking for anything that trips my trigger, but there's something you want me to take a closer look at. Maybe, you know, old planes. Is it a good idea to own a few to have different settings? Um, different settings? Yes and no. I have a couple fives that I have a different settings. Now here's a few router planes for those you want to know. 90, 95, 95, 90. Um, I, I, have, I have three different fives. I have a low angle, I have a, um, a general setup, and then I have one that's set up as a, uh, um, as a scrub plane. Um, but generally, do I set, have them set up for, no. Like I keep my, my four and my four and a half at a really fine setting. And then I'll have my five to hog off things. Um, Corner brace. Did I run over a corner brace? Oh yeah, I did run over a corner brace. Yeah, right back here. Look at that. I want to do a video on that sometime. I've got one sitting in my shop. It's kind of fun to be able to get right up against an edge or into something. Some really nice. Oh, these are some ivory um, folding rules. A lot of people collect those, especially the ones that are branded. This is a fantastic, I love this core plane. Uh, so it's a core box plane, but rather than the regular square frame, this cutter rotates. And every time you push it forward and pull it back, it rotates just a little bit and just keeps rotating around until it cuts out that circle. Um, just an interesting design. Yes. Fiberboard cutter. I've got, I did the video on the larger one, but I want to do one of those. Got one of those to show off, just haven't done it yet. 62 compass planes and so on. Here we got a 55 for 300. That one's what is this? Is that just a dual groove cutter? What would that be for? Uh, weather stripping plane. Weather stripping. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes two so grooves. Make two grooves right next to each other so you can put the spline in there. 1902. Huh. So I love being able to go here and just ask questions. What, what is that? Can you tell me about this? You learn so much. Um, it's probably one of the biggest things why I come to these meets. Spoke shaves. Oh, here we go. Pile of chisels. Everybody's looking for chisels. Bench chisels, carving chisels, framing chisels. <laughs> uh, what do we got over here? So we've got left. Let me show you. We got to go all along these tables here, and I think that is all we have left. I might have a little bit around the corner after that. Some uh, draw knives. I keep thinking I should pick up one of the, the folding. That'd be fun to show off in videos. I just haven't pulled the trigger on it. And uh, everyone wants a folding one, so the prices are a little bit more. Chisels of all kinds, hammers. What 
is that? Flush box opener. Oh, <laughs> see, you have the blade going in there that runs down the thickness of cardboard. So you could use that to, to cut open the cardboard box. <laughs> Lots of plain parts. If you're ever looking for something, these are the places you want to go when you can't find that screw. Spoke shapes, adjustable auger bits, marking gauges, carving tools, block planes, lots of block planes, saws, handles, the uh, Squares, <laughs> mind brink. <laughs> Egg beater drills. There's another old 45. That's the older one. What is that one? Is he asking that? Uh, 220, but comes with the cutters. That's the earlier style with the the knob on the body. Here's a couple more planes. Are you asking? Hundred dollars and a uh, hundred dollars. That one comes with the cutters on it. For hundred bucks. Not bad. 112, cabinet scraper, handles, rabbit planes, other odds and ends, the, uh, um, oh, what's the word, uh, joint or, uh, not joint, uh, blah, names, are always fun. <laughs> Turn. Turn. Sorry if I missed the question. That table routes, yes. Um, getting old chisels and gouges and nice to use them with the blunt chip. Yeah, with the blunt chisel technique, that works well. Uh, so here we got box of chisels, braces. Yeah, there's a corner brace in there too. Hammer handles, more braces. There's another corner brace uh, yeah Stanley made a, uh, a folded metal where they bent the steel sheet uh, they didn't go over very well they didn't sell that many of them huh. who is that I don't know who that is Bush now huh. More braces, Yankee drills, saws. Hey, look at him. Yeah, we're right on the, uh, the takeoff path for the airport. More saws. There's a jackrabbit from some company. Carter. Carter. I don't know that one. Another miter box. Wanted Lee's patent planes. Uh, for looking for a 604. No. There's a Hags too. Oh, look at there's another nice rosewood plane. Got uh, a lot of people like these uh, Stanley plastic handles. They're actually really good. They're not a they're not a bad plastic handle. Take a closer look at the big shooting plane when you get a chance. The big one at the end. Yeah, I'll go back and take a look at that one. Yankees are underappreciated. Yeah, I would say so. I did a video on one not too long ago. Any record hand planes? Oh yeah, there's quite a few records. Not as many as Stanleys. These are not in. Uh, not in the UK, but there are quite a few. There's some nice wooden joiners. 30 bucks a piece. Chisels. There's a five, he's asking 10 bucks on that one. There's a nice eight and a six by someone else. There's a few users down here. 20, 40, 20. There's a beam drill. 
There's some more good users. Oh yeah, these things. Uh, you'd use these to mark out and lay out the hinge on a door. Yeah, here's the, uh, anything on that end, 10 bucks. Anything on this end, 20 bucks. Sounds like a heck of a deal. Yeah, actually, um, <laughs> it is. <laughs> Let's see the sub ice. Is he asking 20 on that? He's asking 20 bucks on that. Oh, sub ice for 20 bucks. I should snag that, but I'm not gonna. I'll let someone else get it. There's a uh, 45 for 20 bucks. Uh, it's missing the, uh, the pull arm. There's a uh, 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 scratch stock. 10 bucks, 10 bucks, not 20 bucks. <laughs> Here we've got more parts. Some cool lever caps. Transitionals. Oh, that's kind of interesting with the big button on there. More parts. <laughs> oh, box clutch. Yeah, I'm looking forward to when I'm done with this, I'm going to go back through and buy a few things. There's another uh, uh, router plane, 85 bucks on that one. That's 66 for $10 is crazy. Yeah, um, you, you'll find a lot of people here who sell things at prices that you'd expect or maybe a little more, but then there's some people that just come here and they're unloading their tools. They want to give them to people who appreciate them. They don't want to just sell them on eBay. Five dollars, anything on here? Thanks, yep. Let's see. More gouges and chisels. Interesting adjuster on the wooden jack plane. Let me go back and take a look at that. On the wooden so jack plane. Now when you come back and buy some more? Oh, have another chance tomorrow. It is kind of interesting. Yeah, huh. I, uh, I was gonna take, you know, sell out of the back of the truck. Can we that? It's kind of weird. In balls, 1852. It is kind of interesting. I always love seeing the comments that come in these videos later. Like, hey, that was really interesting. I'm like, I didn't even see that. I was there in person. I walked by it 17 times. <laughs> Little things you don't pick up. How much are the big framing chisels? Um, well, it depends. Anywhere from like 20 bucks up to you know, 120. You know, here's a uh, framing quarter chisel. What's he asking on that one? $49. Um, here's some larger chisels. 40, 49, 39. Oops. Those ones in there. But I mean, they go anywhere from you know three, four hundred dollars all the way down to you know twenty or so. The slicks are usually around sixty to a hundred. Sometimes more when they're specialties. Some nice spoke shapes in there. Folding rules. Uh, here's a, uh, a side rabbit plane. Hundred bucks. That one's a made in England style. Saucets. Little of this, little of that. Hey, look, the other thing. <laughs> Irons, lever cap, so that's a fun one. <laughs> Someone, wow, they really filled that thing. <laughs> Squares, more irons. Got uh, sharpening steels, machinist squares, mills, squares. All right, let's see. I think. Uh, no, I didn't do this table over here. I still got to come over and do this one, and I'll go back and see if I can find that miter. Oh yeah, it's right over there. 
Uh, so if anyone has questions or something you want me to go see, let me know. I've got a couple tables here left. So these are, yeah, these are really good ones. Um, he has a lot of stuff and it's mostly priced to go. Like uh, block planes. Uh, most of those are actually the, the more expensive ones that have the parts for it. But those he's selling for, what is it, 35 35 40 12 dollars. <laughs> Anyone want a little table saw? Cabinet scrapers. Mallets. They took the M14. Hammers. I just got an M1A or M1. I was the last group. How much are the big M14? No, I'm on live video right now. Showing people what they're missing if they're not here. Super, super. Thank you. Should come to the next one. <laughs> oh, that's wow! Look at that thing. Look at that handle. That is weird. That's cool. Big face. There's some nice uh, bowl gouge ads. Some cool brass pieces. Oh, a nice little uh, mini router in the box. Cane cutter. A lot of people like King Cutter. That's a nice big molding plane. There's a number two, a Fulton number two. I just bought a, a Stanley number two. It's for 125 bucks. Good deal on that. Oh, check out these, the uh, the tea augers, and the, someone made these covers for the tea augers. So they drill the hole with the auger. You can slip right over it with a leather strap on it. It's kind of flanky. Um, yes, you have to be a member of the MWTCA because this, I mean, it may look like just a tool meet. Um, this is part of the convention. Um, so on Thursday, we have the tailgate for the convention. Then on Friday, we go inside. Um, and so it's this is all the uh, MWTCA national convention. Um, so, yeah. Let's go back. You want to look at that uh, that miter one more time. Let's go back and pull up that. Where's the plane that was on there? So we bought it. They just you bought the plane. The oh, they haven't picked up that. Okay. Yep. So yeah, this is the miter he's wanted to look at, but apparently the two the plane was purchased with the the two blades. So yeah, it's one of those things. If you want something, you've got to buy it. Otherwise, it's going to disappear. Here, what is this? A 605C. Huh. That's cool. So, yeah, that's been the uh, live. And uh, this, is, this is a lot of fun. So at the national um, co the conference, we, uh, we had a kickoff dinner last night. Um, and then we will be doing... Why are you turning on me? There, that's better. No, this way, there you go. Um, what are you planning on fill, filling your van with? Yeah, I might go back over and get that grinding stone. I was thinking about that. Um, I got a, uh, a Stanley number two I picked up this morning with a really good deal. It was 125 bucks for a Stanley number two. Um, so we have um, several talks and demonstrations throughout the whole event. Um, then there's a tool show tomorrow and Saturday. Um, I will actually be hosting the one next fall, and I'm thinking about doing a few other things for it. So if you have something you want to see at one of these national meets, let me know. Um, so yeah, um, there's a reason that, that people quite literally fly in from all over the world to come to these. Um, they're, it's, it's, it's where I buy 60 to 70 percent of all my tools. So I think that will about do it. Um, thank you all for coming. I will be going live tomorrow, uh, probably around 10 o'clock for the indoor tool sale. So stay tuned for that. But I think I'll do it for now. Until next time, have a good day. I gotta find that button. There it is.